Uh, I did not finish with the second criminal who met me at the Novomaster police station. Uh, the uniformed guy. Let me demonstrate it, this guy. We're not done yet. Uh, talking about this individual who very much looks like this individual except that he is now bald he is bald already for some time uh, he is bald already for <laughs> um, he is already bald for some time he had uh, issues about the baldness he wanted me to know for how long he's been bald for well, what I can tell you is that either he's bald or he shaved his head. I'm not really precisely sure about it. It was something about the shaving head, too. Um, I remember him bald already for... I say about like fourth, uh, 20 years would be 2004, 2004. Yeah, I would go about like 20 years, something like that. Um, 2004, 2006 about 2006 2004 2006 uh, 2004 I would say um, listen up uh, with this individual is like this this individual was from a family which was a highly highly economically disadvantaged and she's about the same generation as Slovenian Prime Minister now, Robert Golop. Uh, 57, 58, 59, 60 like, or 59 like, Borut Pahor, uh, ex-president Borut Pahor, that's exactly the generation we are talking about. And I know so because because of uh, he finished the school and he was economically disadvantaged and he was he kept sucking the tits from 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 the tits of Milan Kuchan from Danilo Turk Milan Kuchan uh, Danosha they 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 gave him a milk they raised him up like a baby uh, he was from disadvantaged family he's got I think about two sisters I would say. And it was then, I said, this is, this is what I dedicated him. I dedicated him this here, and you can see here, also you can see the video about him. I dedicated him, yeah. So, um, thinking about two sisters, and I was just not good enough. He was a, such a poor guy, this guy. Uh, I liked his sister, looked good. But I was insane according to him. I was mentally ill individual. The picture that you see right there was literally produced, manufactured by the Slovenian police, by the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, by somebody. They got one from somewhere somehow, uh, changed something in it, and demanded from British to publish one. So they gave this picture to the British and it would be British that would list this picture exactly under, let me see if I can see this here. No, you cannot see this here, but you can see it here about a British lunacy. It goes into this stuff here. What a British and French bandit capitalism look like. This one here, with support of Belgrade and Moscow via Slovenia. This here about the clowns, yeah? That's what Prince Charles did not, not want. Prince Charles did not want. 
if you're going to look, you look for this second part of the video. I did not uh, finish the video properly. I did not finish the if you Google, if you Google uh, Prince Charles said clown, and you're gonna find nothing. You're only gonna find one Charles here, uh, just as I explained. That was supposed to mean to, for me uh, psychiatric pills, and then you're gonna find some interesting characters that were involved uh, in MKUltra. Here, I wasn't kidding when I told you about such as Peter Corruption, you can see him right there. Yeah. Now, now, for me to finish about this criminal, he is a uniformed police investigator who met me during police incident, which I would treat as a assault, literally is a physical assault. It's not going to go and be classified as a psychological or verbal or anything assault, but go literally into the category of the physical assault that took place July 21st, June 20, June, June 21st, 2024 that took place. Uh, according to his superior, his name is Janes Ogulin. Is this man here? He is now a retired police officer, a police director. This this is a police director, yes. Uh, well, this is the individual who was involved in this kind of stuff, and it's. It's why it's going to be really, really, really easy to place him behind bars. Nothing ever easier than to put this guy behind bars. I had no idea that the whole thing was so easy uh, to complete the whole thing. Yeah, beautiful. this here one year and a half before we moved into the house this stuff here you see uh, two directors indoctrinated my father perhaps and uh, the best way to kill me is through domestic abuse at home for elderly basically through domestic abuse till you get proofs about uh, mistreatment you know kids mistreating parents. This was the thing in Yugoslavia. This was like the big success is what the old director uh, claimed, uh, who also delivered this individual here in our house. He came for a fishing. Uh, this was the man that was selected to become a new police director. This guy. Very young but already groomed to become a police director. So it would be really good to know who, who his parents are, what kind of background that this guy has that is so outstanding that they wanted him for the police director here in the city of the Novo Mesto. So we're going to find out where he's really coming from. Yeah, <coughs> He boasted about this individual here. He boasted about this clown here about this one here he boasted that this guy is now the wealthiest guy of all the police officers and by this happened he moved from his farm which was a really really poor farm and got married to the lady here in the city of the novel Mesto. I think she is from the Ratish but I'm not sure um, and the thing about it is that she is from a very wealthy family and she inherited a lot of land and property which one property from what I recall he had me at, it's called Stopice in the Novo Mesto let me demonstrate you Stopice in the Novo Mesto
So we would go fishing with the father. Let me see if I'm going to get some. Ah, oh, shit, I don't get any kind of picture, yeah. And they're supposed to have, like, near Teshka Voda, you know, like some kind of farm, that's what he claimed, from one of the, the parents. It's also what he inherited. So this guy inherited a lot of, from his wife, the really wealthy on both sides, I suppose, uh, inherited also a farm here, etc., 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 and became really, really, really wealthy. Uh, so we're talking about the male with the two sisters, from what I recall. Yeah, some disadvantage, extremely, extremely poor, extremely, extremely poor, disadvantaged family originates most likely, I don't know, uh, let me see this. Eh. I'm just going to do it like this. Uh, I think he originates somewhere from maybe Mokronok, maybe, you know, uh, Mirna Mokronok, something like this it was, you know. Uh, they fixed him everything, including the studies in Ljubljana. They helped him out to finish the high school. Uh, university, then a portion of the university. I think he did two years or whatever. And then he did also more or whatever it was the case. Yeah, so don't say that uh, I don't know who this guy is, where he is coming from, who is this guy. Uh, at least this is what presented himself with as... We're going to find out exactly who this guy is. We're going to find out what exactly the claims that I have made, how those claims are matching the description of this individual. And we're going to know. Do you know why this guy here is dead walking man, this guy here? Do you know why this guy is dead walking man? You know, here at this place here, it's stoppage here in the novel Mesto. You know? Uh, store picture let's look at that store picture yeah like that I go up like this it's, the thing is it's not going to show me that water beautiful water Tashka water you know um, damn too bad uh, the thing about it is that he knew about this thing here about this thing here you see let me demonstrate you that's why I know this guy is a dead walking man you don't you never you're never gonna walk away from this here this is what you're dead this is why you're all dead this is why all the police investigators at the Novo Mesto Police Station, you're all fucking dead. Now you understand why he knew about this thing. Every police investigator from the city of the Novo Mesto knew about this stuff. You're all the police investigators. You committed all perjury. You covered up for your bosses with a psychiatry with attempts to murder which you solicited through the parents, through the family, through the hospital, through the torture you engaged in to cover up for your bosses, for your police directors. That's why every fucking one of you is a dead walking man. I'm going to tell you who the fuck you are. You are a nobody. So you're in my pocket now. You all knew about your police directors. And that's very bad when you cover up for the police directors. And I know you all knew about the police directors because it was even a nurse, Yanko, psychiatrist, cops, I don't even have to say. Entire company of the people involved in MK Ultra who demanded for me to keep silent about the incident of 1982, one year and a half before we moved into this house here stayed here permanently it could have been 1982 maybe even 1981 how the fuck do you contemplate to kill child so you see 
it was not only that it would be few people that knew about this. Entire Novo Mesto Police Investigation Department knew. Entire Novo Mesto Police Station knew about this stuff. Everybody involved in MK Ultra knew about this stuff. That's why you're fucked. You covered up for the boss and you even went ahead to death threaten me. Yanko death threatened me. Nurse Yanko death threatened me. If you will mention this and then you're dead, you're never going to get through. Everybody that threatened me, if you will mention about the two directors that were involved in this stuff, you're dead. You absolutely, you're never going to get through. Okay. So you know what? Let's see who's going to get through and who will not get through. Single guy, one male with the two sisters and became extremely wealthy because he inherited the properties from the parents, from, uh, from, from his wife's parents. So that's all I got to say for this video. Now I don't actually have anything else in respect to this guy, so that the people that will investigate this stuff will have a strong, good leads that we understand each other basically. Uh, who is coming from where, what background and so on. Thanks for watching this video.